right, welcome to Be Easy Podcast, episode five. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, watching, actually liking, commenting. It's been amazing, man. The journey been great. I got 45 subscribers. Shout out to all 45 of y'all. Appreciate y'all, gang, gang, since body train, all that extra shit. But no, hey, I wanted to shout out everybody for actually watching and actually subscribing, man. It's been a blessing. I had a great guest for y'all today, but he felt like he had flu-like symptoms, so he stayed home. And I appreciate him for being honest with me, you know, because everybody is trying to see family and do everything this winter. So y'all gotta stay safe. Make sure y'all protected. Don't give a fuck if you're just going in the store for some salad dressing and some chips, whatever the fuck you're going in the store for. Make sure you have that mask on, cause that flu ain't no joke. You thought COVID beat your ass. This flu gonna beat your ass. The other day, I felt like I had like some type of symptoms. I'm like, ah, oh, nah. I took some medicine and went straight to sleep. I woke up feeling 100% better. I guess that was just me thinking like, too much shit in the air, people getting sick. I thought I had COVID. I got checked like two times and I was like, oh shit, I'm good. But don't nobody want to catch COVID during winter breaks, man. Everybody got to go home and see family and things like that. So, man, stay safe, stay protected. Make sure you drink your orange juice, your vitamins, because vitamin C is important right now. It just help your immune system. Make sure you work out too. It's good to work out. You want to make sure that your body stay move in, stay flexible because once you get old you're gonna wish to happen so i advise you guys to work out let me teach y'all some things that i learned this weekend man it was pretty crazy do you know that 40 percent of the time if you write down your goals you'll get accomplished i said the same shit, but i've been writing down so that's how i got all this and everything that i've attained so far I've just been writing down and they said 71% of Americans don't have a thousand dollars in their savings account. Crazy. Super crazy. 71% of Americans don't have a thousand dollars in their savings account. That's crazy to me. Especially in the times that we live in right now, you can do anything to get money on the internet. Right now, I'm sports betting, I'm looking at the bet hopefully it hit that's why i'm too much i'm over here i'm on my computer I'm, but i'm trying to stay focused for you guys because hey podcast is the podcast but it's a lot of things that you can do to actually make money you can create an Etsy account amazon you can do sports bets you can do instacart doordash like i'm not saying to replace that for your full-time job. I'm just saying to get income flowing in. And then after that, you save some money, go buy you a vending machine. That's my next step is trying to buy me a vending machine, place it in a barbershop or somewhere. If I can place it outside someone establishment, that'd be dope. But my next hustle is a vending machine. I'm going back to school for barbering. California played me. They talking about I owe 350 hours from Missouri, didn't credit it. So I'm not even going to sweat it. I'm going to be a man about it and just go back to school, knock these for seven months out, come back. I have my barber degree, my computer technician degree. Man, it's going to be over, bro. Sometimes we don't see things until it work out, but it took me a long time just to get my hours transferred over. And once I got them transferred over, the Board of Education, they didn't want, they didn't accept all my hours, none of my hair cutting hours. They said my transcript was basically illegible and some more shit. So it is what it is, bro. It's life, bro. Always try to succeed. It is just crazy because if they didn't, Give me my license. I'm still trying to hold me a barber shop because you don't have to have a barber license to own a barber shop. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. But it is what it is, man. I would definitely have it. It's already on my vision board. I got a lot of things that's coming up that's pretty dope. 
Recently, I just seen Too Short, Ice Cube, Warren G, Corrupt, Amanda Perez. But it was dope, man. I felt like the best performance that was there was Warren G next to Too Short. Then Ice Cube. Uh, some, some dude named MC Light. Nah. I think it was MC Light. Yeah, he was there. He had his Zap computer love going on. That, that was crazy. Um, but I definitely say Warren G. He represent for Nate Dog. He represent for the Dog Pound. He represent for everybody, bro. He every bar was just perfect. He was just rapping. He was going crazy. What was hella funny was corrupt. Man, he was high as fuck. I don't know what he smoked. He had to smoke some gas because the whole golden one arena was just full with number smoke. We in the sweets. I couldn't even have them. We none of that, bro. I'm around other people and shit. I felt like, damn, everybody here is smoking but me. Crazy. But he probably smoked some moon rock in the back or something. He was just on the stage moving. And then he couldn't even like Bruh, he couldn't even rap all this shit. And you know Corrupt got It ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. But you know he got the dopest verse on there. He fucked up. Other dude had to come up and Bruh, man, I was like, ah. Oh. But it was dope, dope, cause you know, it's the West Coast. West Coast tour. Definitely a cool tour. We was in nice ass seats, man. Definitely nice ass seats. Um, the next day later, Dave Chappelle came. I wish I would have went to that one. Dave Chappelle one funny motherfucker. The lines were so long. It was all the way from the top to the, I think the top of DLC to the bottom. It was crazy, man. But shout out to the West Side Tour. That was dope as fuck. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. Everybody been coming here lately, man. It's been pretty, pretty dope vibes. A lot of times when people try to come to Sacramento, I try to try to go, try to get out because you never know who you might see. Like Larry June came here, I think like last year. I was hella mad I didn't even go. Man, I would have been in that motherfucker. Yee <laughs> And then like organic type shit, boy, like for real, for real flavors. Um, shout out June, though. He gonna be on the podcast one day, y'all gonna be like, oh shit, I'm like, I told y'all. It was the second of Sunday. Will said that Larry June was gonna be on here a year ago. Righteous. You motherfucking right. But it's good to network with people, bro, especially new people, because you never know who you might meet. I recently figured out, like, you can be good as shit, but you'll never be great unless you got a great team. Like, your work ethic gotta be dope. People don't understand man, once you quit a job, you gotta work hard as a motherfucker on that brand, on that idea, on that dream, that plan, whatever you thought in your mind, 10 times harder than what the fuck you was doing on your nine to five. Sometimes this shit get very, very, very lonely, my nigga. And you gotta thug it out. But that's what I say, bro. You gotta literally meet new people because new people will create a new you. I remember when we used to say, uh, we don't want no new friends. I think Drake came out with that, no new friends. Bro, everybody was like, oh, I ain't getting no new friends. But if you don't really understand, if you're not open to new friends, you're not open to new opportunities and new experiences and new things that you'll never know. Hey bro, sometimes you gotta be open. But stay consistent. Try to meet new people. Always network. Put your best foot forward. Never shake no man hand while you sitting down. Don't do that shit. That shit just not, it's, don't do that shit, bro. Self-explanatory shit. But you got to do the things that make you uncomfortable. I say that with a passion. I'm learning Spanish. This shit make me uncomfortable. 
when I'm ordering food. Like, it's hard sometimes. So, I'm learning Spanish right now on Duolingo. It's free. I definitely advise that if anyone trying to learn the language or you don't got shit to do, pick up Duolingo. The shit cool. You can actually learn some things that can help you out. I had this thought in my head, like, what about we all go to Mexico and the only nigga that can speak Spanish in our squad get drunk as fuck? And we can't do shit. Because he the only one. And now we getting hassled and shit by policemen and shit. The whole time they just want 40 bucks and we don't even know that shit. But the homie knocked out. Straight knocked out. The only one he speaks Spanish. Bro, I'm not having that shit. I'm in that motherfucker. See? Tabby in. Buenos dias. Mucho gusto. I'm out here. Like, bro. I just need to learn, like, the real words. Necesita. Ajuda, you gotta learn that. You gotta say the Ajuda. You don't never know where you at. Ajuda, Ajuda. I got some dope upcoming projects as well. I got another girl. She's gonna sing on the podcast. We trying to put everything together. Then I got two other homies. Definitely dope. I don't even want to say no names or anything like that. But I got two homies. It's definitely dope upcoming in Sacramento, doing their thing. And also, potentially, I might have a live painter on set. She's gonna paint a canvas. Hopefully she can teach me how to paint so I can learn a couple skills, you know, paint and set type shit, you know? It's gonna be real player, real player. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Joe. But um, I got a lot of different things coming up. I also found three missing rap notebooks. So basically, I'm going to drop three mixtapes and all of them going to be from the notebook. So I know everything in the notebook is dope, but a lot of that shit that I was spitting before is different from the man that I grew into. But I'm going to still put it out. So if you heard something about Semi, either all that, you know, listen to the goddamn music. Give a nigga a like or something, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. Yeah, but I feel like everything gonna be cool, man. All my family is definitely waiting to see new music. I hope I might give y'all a freestyle on the next next episode. Depends on who I'm viewing, but I got some things lined up. But yeah, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. I don't want to talk too much for this episode. It's just me, your host, Beezy Will. Looking real flashy, trippy, as my son would say. But be cool, man. As moms always say, you don't gotta fit in. Just be you. You gonna stand out. Spark this joint out. What they talk about? Will? <laughs>